Scumbag. Yeah. I feel like that's the right next transition. Yeah. Um, it is a diss track, and it is uh, against transphobes. Yes. Fuck Just them. in general, not a specific one. You sure about that? By UK law, yes. <laughs> US law, not so much. I was encouraged by my label to go fully in, and I was like, yeah, cool. And then I looked at the UK law, and I was like, ooh. Wait, Maybe this, I'll not speak about that that much. Have you had to deal like there was one person in particular that you were talking yeah. thinking about? Oh god yeah, god yeah. Like recent, past few years, big old transphobe, popular celebrity. Oh, J.K. Rowling? Of course not. Oh, she's a piece of shit. Eh? Yeah, she's a piece of shit. Yeah, but it's totally. not about her. Oh, it's right. about her whole, her friendship group. Interesting. It's about I'm really interested. Uh, yeah, that yeah, That makes yeah. a lot of sense, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no, I, I wrote half the song and then my label were like, go in on it. And I was like, okay, I'll go in on it. References here and there. The week of release, I, I read every, I downloaded PDFs of every single book, wrote every single lyric, came up with everything. Because she will, she sues people on Twitter oh, that like have crazy. 900 followers. Yeah, she, she, she's rich and has yeah. no heart or morals. Yes. Yeah, and yeah. really is like the worst sort of rich person. Yes, she's the worst because she like, she hides it behind the facade of like protecting women and children. Obvi like it's so obvious with her. But then she also like, her Twitter, like it was like three or four years ago where she liked her first anti-trans tweet. And she was like, oh, it was an accident. Sorry, I didn't know. The year after, she was like, oh, but I have valid concerns about trans people. This year, like, on Trans Day of Visibility, she spent the entire day just retweeting, like, trans women are predators. Like, retweeting, like, the most insane shit. Like, specifically on that day. Um, but, yeah, that song is about, like, hiding behind the guise of protecting women and children to, like, justify your hatred. But now she's kind of masked off, I guess. She's made it very obvious. What a terrible person. Mm-hmm. And, like, how hard is it for one to, like, come to terms with the fact that she created something so special yeah. and life-changing for so many, yeah. but could be somebody who has no ability or understanding yeah. to, I don't know, empathize mm. or take the time to understand or open their mind to something that isn't just negative bullshit? Yeah. Well, it's, right, because she's selectively looking at news and facts. Oh, gosh, yeah. Like, she, so... But that's kind of why it, like, fits on the album for me, because it's, like, it's just a very clear example of, like, extremism on the internet. Like, how easy it is to be, like, brought to one side. Because, um, again, all she's being fed yeah. is the same bullshit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, but that, that's the annoying thing about, like, doing what I do is, like, I have to constantly bring out this data and these facts and these sources. Every single time someone will tweet the dumbest shit, I'm like, oh, here's a fucking document that proves that wrong but I don't have the time like I don't have the time but yeah like it, it's it's very easy to see where she's got her influences from and like these are people that have like she's now uh, for, for a while she was like lauded as like a a wonderful person gives to charity totally. she was a billionaire gave away money she wasn't a billionaire anymore working with all these great charities doing all this good work for women and then something switched and I think I think a lot of my, my perception is that like during COVID like before COVID, the internet was, like, my place. That's how I feel. Like, not the whole internet, but, like, that was my place where I could have my people. Everybody during COVID went to the internet and, like, misinformation fucking blew up. Mm -hmm. um, radicalization, radicalization blew up. Like, conspiracy theories blew up. And I feel like it was those few years where, like, so many people that would never be would never have access to these kind of ideologies. Like, they all just went full in on it because they're at home doing nothing all day apart from being on the internet. Right. So, like, that that's... that's I, I'm not going to, like, theorize why J.K. Rowling's a massive turf now, but, like, it was around that time, the people that she followed around that time, like, she she used to be friends with, like, like just, like, good people, charitable people, and now she's friends with, like, neo-Nazis. Like, fully documented, that like, neo-Nazis. That is neo wild. Yeah. It's and a, such a, a quick change. And my hope is that the people who have access to the IP that she's created, mm -hmm. like, do something to distance themselves from whatever that is. Because, like, if anybody gives any fuck about yeah. children or women, mm -hmm. they should realize the fact that every time she chooses to say some form of bullshit, yeah. what, what's happening is she's costing, she's, she potentially is killing people. Oh, she, she, she's dictating UK law now as well. Like, she has so much money, she puts out these, like... So in the UK, you, if, if like 10,000 people sign a petition, then it goes to the parliament and then it will be debated in parliament. Um, she's behind a lot of like the legal changes. She may not be like the face of it. But she's but spending she, the money she, to she do it. She spends money. Like she, she's, <laughs> I, I don't, oh, I don't, I don't want to like come up with a number, but I know there was like a big, like 
thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds to these like anti-trans charities and she's very she's very much a figurehead in that part of the world now um so like yeah like, that's why it's like oh. it's kind of frustrating because like a few years ago like she accidentally liked these transphobic tweets easy to justify be like oh maybe she didn't get it yeah but, but then, today she's fucking funding and lobbying yeah. anti-trans agenda yeah. in the uk yeah she and rushi sunak can go fuck themselves yeah yeah yeah, yeah. What the fuck is going on yeah that's but like crazy. but but the most frustrating thing is like having to explain it to people and having people because people always want to give everybody the benefit of the doubt which i get but like I feel like in terms of trans stuff, like I found in my experience, even people that are like very accepting, very pro-trans, even, even like people that I'm really close with, like friends that like I grew up with that are very friendly, very good allies or like family members even, like I sometimes I'll have to like sit and like word for word write out why it's damaging for people to have these beliefs because a lot of the time they're just like, oh, she's just being silly on Twitter. But it's like, no, she's like funding these anti-trans lobbies and making differences. Like since I've been in the US, US here, there's come out a study where... Oh, it's called like the CAS review. There were 113 studies. They threw out 111 of them and stick, stuck to two of them. None of them were like double blind. So they weren't genuine like studies yeah. that could be, they, they wouldn't be trusted within like the scientific world, but they've allowed them to dictate gender clinics in the UK. So like a few days ago, the the Prime Minister Rishi Sunak said that he he's looking very seriously into making it so that people can't access hormones until they're age 25. Like at that, at like that point, 25. it's so late and you're going to ruin somebody's yeah, life. Yeah, exactly. And by the way, if they make it to 25, yeah. you asshole. Yeah. yeah, no, exactly. Like I, like I, it felt like hell waiting just until I was like 19 because I knew since I was a kid, but that felt like a fucking, and I, I genuinely like, I, if you meet Fuck. anybody that knows me, like I wasn't fully a person until I transitioned because I was so uncomfortable with myself. And that's the, the argument they make that you're like, oh, someone, they have to grow up fully to, yeah. in order to make oh, that yeah, decision. Oh yeah, that brain needs to be Breaking fully Breaking fucking news, like if you're not your true self, if yeah. you're not in your true gender, yeah. if you're not in your true body, you're never going to grow up and be no. able to fully develop and be yeah. yourself and make any sort of coherent decision. Yeah. And like, also, why the fuck does it matter to any of these people? Because That's I, what's crazy to me. I Like, I think like... In terms of like UK politics, like the we have like the Conservatives in power. They've been been in power for a while. They're like the equivalent of like the Republicans. Yeah, yeah. But they, we've had about four prime ministers in the space of like crazy five years. Like everyone Liz keeps Truss getting is an asshole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they don't even get voted Gage in. Was now. the best out of all of them. God's <laughs> truth, <laughs> dude. Like and they, the, the idiot with the hair wasn't that bad. He came. But, back. Oh no, he was. Yeah, Boris I, Johnson. I, he I, was like he's nightmare. like way nicer than the Rushy Sunak asshole. But that's that was what was dangerous about him is because he seems like a bumbling idiot yeah. and then he, and he puts fucking Nazis minivan. in office. Yeah, yeah oh yeah, crazy. he drives his mini. But that's that's the kind of thing where like. In the UK, like the politics is like all these conservative politicians, they've been through them for prime ministers and we're coming up to a general election and Labour, who's like the opposition party, are polling way better than they ever have in the past 10 years. So I, I see it in the US as well when anything happens, like if when, when Trump did something silly or like when anybody does something silly, they're always just like, ah, but trans people, because it's a very easy scapegoat. Yeah, they're like, oh, well, you don't like that we're, you know, making everybody homeless, but look at what this transgender just did. Do you stand for that transgender doing that? No, we don't either. Like it's it's just like a voting tactic, and I feel like it was the same with like gay people like a while ago. It's just the same like rehashed arguments. It just gets really gnarly when people are ch choosing to put all their money into lobbying and yeah, changing the the laws. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, it's so fucked. And by the way, like we're gonna go watch this new Harry Potter spinoff on Peacock. Yeah, I was gonna say, can you still watch Harry Potter? And then I, I mean, the the reality is like you shouldn't. Because the idea of like every time you view that, she's getting a, a penny, and yeah. then that penny's going to fund anti trans legislation yeah. in the UK. That, that that's my thing with it, because like I know that people like the emotional attachment that people have to Harry Potter. Like I like, but especially like queer people, like queer people fucking love Harry Potter. That's what it's so crazy. They love that shit. And so like my, my perspective is just like, yeah, I, I don't think you should pay for anything. I don't think you should. If you do, that's a choice that you make, but you you gotta acknowledge that that is what you're doing, even if it's just a penny. Like you just like that's something that you sit with, and if if you're happy with that, fucking go for it. But like the the annoying thing for me is when people are just like, oh, but it doesn't matter. It's only a penny, and I'm like, yes, but it's more like the thought. But like I'm not gonna be like, fuck you for doing that. It's more just like just be aware of what yeah. you're doing. And I think I think also it's like it's the thing where like people aren't aware of what she's doing because like especially in the UK, like the British newspapers, they're like on her side. Totally. They're like they they're like she's like a feminist hero. Like yeah. that, that will be like the front page of the Daily Mail. Because she's rich. Yes, she's and so she rich. She can buy those yeah. things. Yeah. Like Breaking she, she news. has like some of the besties are in the press. Crazy. Yeah. 